Welcome to Precision Weigh In Balances. Today we'll be showing you the MyWay KD7000 digital scale. This is a great affordable scale. It offers 7,000 grams by 1 gram readability. You can see the response time. It's a quick scale, very affordable, and we'd like to cover some of the features that it offers. So. Again, this scale offers 7,000 grams weighing capacity and it increments in one gram intervals. So you'll never see a tenth of a gram. It's always going to go one gram, two gram, three gram. The scale has five different weigh functions and we'll show you those weigh functions and change the weigh modes. So right now the scale is presently in grams and we're going to show you how to change the weigh modes. So basically, all one needs to do, oh, let me show you. This is an acrylic cover that can be removed. And um, we'll take it off, maybe we'll get a better view. I just want to show you how to remove it. So to remove the acrylic, all one needs to do is lift it up and push it to the right. And it removes all together. So this is a splash guard, and it's pretty handy, and it's a very unique design that my way implemented on their scales. So let's get back into changing the weigh modes. So I'm going to throw on 5 kilograms. And to change the weigh modes, all one simply needs to do is press the mode button. So we're in grams, and if you look in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see G. I press mode once and now I'm in kilograms. So you'll see now we have 5.000 kilograms. If I press the mode button again, this weigh mode is ounces. So right now we're weighing in ounces and you can see, I'll zoom in just a little bit more so you can see that display. You'll notice the unit is ounces. The next weigh mode is going to be pound colon ounces. So we have on the scale right now 11 pounds 0.4 ounces. And now the next weigh mode will be just straight pounds. So here we have 11.024 pounds. And if we press the weigh mode again, we're going to go back into grams. So basically you have five different weigh modes with this scale. Additional features include a large stainless steel platform and this platform measures seven inches by seven inches. So you can see it's a nice stainless steel platform and on the base of it we have four posts that go right into the scale. So it's a nice simple design to give you weigh-in performance that you need for general use. So this scale could be used for um, food, could be used in the classroom for formulation. It's a very affordable digital scale. I'd like to cover a few more of the features of the keypad and how they operate. So we basically went over the mode button already. This red button is the on-off button. So if I just press it, the scale goes off. If I press and hold, the scale comes on. And when the scale comes on, you'll see it does a power up sequence and goes to zero, zero. There's also a hold feature. And what this hold feature does is it will hold the current value. Maybe sometimes you won't be able to see the display. You'll have a larger object. Maybe it's a box that you'll put on. Or in this example, maybe you're someone that's dieted and you put on a large plate. And so on this large plate, sometimes one won't be able to see the display. So you put a large plate on it and you can use the hold feature. And when, if I press the hold button down and release, now when I take off the plate, it's going to show you that that plate is 936 grams. Now if I put anything on the scale, I'm going to put 
five kilograms of weight. You'll notice it doesn't matter. The scale has held the original weight, which was 936 grams. So to release the hold function, all you have to do is press the hold key again. And you'll notice it goes back to zero. And now if I put five kilograms on, the five kilograms is there. Um, we also have a tear function. So if we were to put on this plate again, and if we wanted to tear the amount of food, we're going to put some food on the plate, we could zero out the plate. So you just press the tear button. And when you tear it, you'll notice that now the scale goes to zero. And say, for example, I just have an orange handy. I put an orange. And I wanted to know what it weighed. So the orange weighs 261 grams. So this is the tear function. And you could use this for many applications. You might be doing some type of formulation, and uh, you're making some kind of mitts, and it says, you know, put on. I'll give you an example. It might say, now you'll notice when I take off the plate, since I had teared it, it shows the minus here at 936. Now to get rid of it, all you have to do is hit tear again, and it zeroes it out. But we'll just say, for example, you were making some chemical mixture, and it said put 200 grams on the scale. And you did. We'll just say you had like a bowl. You could tear that out, and then all of a sudden, the formula says we need 500 grams. And you could tear that out. And then the formula said, I want you to put on 5,000 grams. And you could tear that out. So each time, you can tear, providing you do not exceed the capacity of the scale. Never can you have more than seven kilograms on the scale. And when I remove them, you'll see here, we now have a negative 5,700. So the tear feature is a real nice feature. Now on the back of the scale, there are two switches. And these switches, um, basically, one switch enables the backlight display, and the other switch um, controls the audible, the auto um, tone. So here on the back of the scale, you will see we have two switches. And so these two switches here, one, two. Now this receptacle is for an AC adapter. The AC adapter on the MyWay scale is optional. We do sell the AC adapter. And um, you can see the scale, just plug it into the back, and you can run the scale off of AC adapter if that's what you want. But again, with the KD7000, the AC adapter is optional. So getting back to our switches, we have two switches here. One switch is going to control the auto tone when you press a key. The other switch will control the backlight, where we can turn it on or turn it off. So basically, you can see when I turn it on, now we have the nice backlight display. And now we can tear. And you can see every time we press a key, now we get that auto, the, uh, the noise, the tone. So for some people, they don't want to hear the audible tone, so you can disable it. And all you have to do is go to the back of the scale and turn on or off one of those switches. Now again, you can see the nice backlight display. And this backlight display is used in poor lighting areas. It also makes it very easy to see on the eye. So you can operate it on backlight if you want, or you can shut it off. So those are some of the features of the scale. I'd like to turn over the bottom of the scale and show you how the scale has basically a, a battery port here on the back. And the scale operates, th this here now is a little tiny piece of plastic that they put in the battery compartment so the batteries don't drain. So when you do get your scale, you want to make sure you remove this. This contact here is preventing the continuity so the batteries aren't connected to the scale. So when you get the scale, you need to make sure that's removed. And your batteries, you have three AA batteries. And so most people just would purchase the scale um, and run it off of the 
three AA batteries. Others, if you want the AC adapter, again, the AC adapter is optional. So that's basically the features of the scale. And I just want to go over a couple more and what comes with the MyWay KD7000 digital scale. So the other features that come with this scale, uh, when you purchase it, um, the scale will come with three splash guards, basically, these splash guards. And so what one would do is just put the splash guard over the keypad, and you'd have to just put scotch tape, or, you know, it's not going to stay there forever. You would just tape that on. So for some people, if they're, we'll say, a baker and they're very messy, they don't want to touch the keys all the time, they could put this um, splash guard on or protective guard. The scale also comes with a very simple uh, instruction sheet. Consists of basically one, two, three, four pages. And the manual goes over basically the uh, scale operations and exactly how the scale functions. Um, talks about the modes, the keys. It also covers um, calibration and there is a little bit of options here which includes how to adjust the auto turnoff function. So the scale to save battery power would automatically shut off and those functions include either uh, you can disable it all together or you can have it so the scale shuts off after two minutes of no activity or five minutes of no activity. On the other function that you have the ability to configure, it has to do with the response time, how fast the scale um, shows that number. So the other feature I wanted to just cover is calibration. Although the user manual says uh, the scale really doesn't need to be calibrated, uh, many people want it to be calibrated. And we're going to show you how to calibrate it, and the calibration mass, again, is optional. So we're going to walk you through the instructions on how to do that. Now, you do need a 5-kilogram mass, and we do sell these at Precision Weigh and Balances. So to get into the calibration, what you need to do first is have the scale off. And we're going to shut the scale off and we just need to press some buttons here so we're going to shut the scale off and what you want to do is we're going to hold down the mode key and then we're going to press the on key the scale is going to power up and then we're going to release and you're going to see this scale go to cal e so at this point you want to just place your five kilogram mass on the center of the platform. And you want to wait. And the scale is storing, it's going to store that function. And all we have to do is press, once the five kilogram weight is on there, you just need to press the tear key. You hit tear, and it shows pass. And now we have 5,000 grams. So that's how simple it is to calibrate. Now, again, the cal mass is optional and you need 5 kilograms. If we try to calibrate the scale with 500 grams, it's not going to work. So it is specific. must be 5 kilograms. Um, let's see. We talked about the AC adapter is an option, and we always have the AC adapters in stock if you... Go to our website, balances.com or scaleman.com. You will see clearly that the AC adapter is listed there as an optional accessory. Spoke about this acrylic cover and how it can be um, left on the scale or removed, whichever you would like. It keeps your scale clean. That's a nice little feature that you won't see in any of this market segment for, we'll say, a low-cost, affordable digital scale. Um, my way is a great, great value um, for anybody looking for a affordable one-gram digital scale. Um, 
I want to mention about the warranty. My way has a warranty. Basically, it's the longest in the industry. I believe uh, they say it's a 30-year or lifetime warranty, but I will say there is one caveat. You have to retain your original invoice in any warranty claims are dealt directly with my way, and their warranty depot is in Arizona. So you have to send that unit into my way, and you always want to keep your original invoice, so keep that on hand. Priced at under $50, the KD7000 sure is converting a lot of existing owners of comparable models, like we'll say the Ajo Scout or the Tanita KD200 series. Um, again, people in the food industry that are doing portion control, um, they buy this scale. I know I have a, uh, a friend that owns an ice cream stand, and they purchase this scale to train their employees on how to portion ice cream. So when the ice cream stand is uh, not open to the public, they were training their employees on how many scoops and what it should weigh. So it's extremely affordable. Um, we are precision weighing balances. If you have any additional questions, you can give us a call. But this video really covers everything that is in regards to the MyWay KD7000 digital scale. Visit us at either balances.com or scaleman.com. We are an authorized MyWay dealer. We've been with MyWay since they started. Thanks for watching this video.